The Anglo-American approach is used to describe an approach which focuses on shareholders. That is, the organization is run primarily for the benefit of shareholders. In terms of this approach, management need to make decisions and take actions that would increase the wealth of the company so that the shareholders' returns are increased. Management do not have a direct duty to consider stakeholders, but are required to consider other stakeholders under two circumstances. When there is a direct requirement to do so in terms of specific law and regulations, and when failure to consider other stakeholder needs would affect shareholders. For example, a mining company established near a small community employs most of the locals to work in the mines. If management fail to focus on the derivative duties towards these employees by not practicing the health and safety of the employees, this would eventually affect the shareholders. If two miners died from poor safety conditions in the mines, this would lead to lawsuits, cost for damages, and negative publicity which would affect the reputation and possibly reduce the share price. Accordingly, in this instance, Failure by management to focus on the derivative duties of other stakeholders would result in negative consequences for shareholders. To recap, under the Anglo-American approach, companies are run primarily for the benefit of shareholders. However, there are two instances where management would have a direct duty to other stakeholders.